Hello everybody, it's Alex and uh, today is the 11th of August 2010 and so it's day 11 of my healing journey. Uh, I've decided I'm not going to call it um, anymore something like a detox or a cleanse or something like that because to me that has the meaning that it's going to go to an end, come to an end. So if it's a detox, like a like a 15 day detox or a, or a 20 day detox or a cleanse, um, but this isn't this isn't what that is for me anymore. Um, it's a journey from here to health, and um, it's a way of life. I'm not going to. Um, go back to um you know eating things that are no good for me um so you know today someone uh, on my facebook wall asked a really interesting question which was you know like I've, i hear you've done this before so what made you go back to eating unhealthily and um it's a really good question i don't know i just uh, i think it was a matter of mindset that i i put an end to that process i said right this is a 50 day cleanse and once it's done i'm well and because i'm well maybe i thought my body could cope with going back to eating a normal diet but um i completely missed the point that that wasn't the point first of all i wasn't well i was just starting to get well i was just literally um tipping the scales i was getting alkaline but i wasn't so well that it was really going to last and even if you are well if you go back to eating acidic foods you are going to turn back to acidic um in my case that happened fairly quickly um because obviously i hadn't quite um I wasn't as alkaline as I thought I was, but um, for some other people it might take longer, but at the end of the day, we've just got to stay alkaline to feel well and be able to enjoy life to the full because, you know, life is for living and life is not for feeling sorry for ourselves because we're sitting on a sofa and we can't, you know, do anything or go outside or, you know, even do our own food shopping. So, um, but anyway... Um, I wanted to talk to you today about um, how I'm feeling and my symptoms and how they compare to say last week. Um, so it's only day 11, it's only been 11 days and um, like I say I've not done, um, I've not gone 100% alkaline, I am transitioning which means that um, you know I'm having um, a few bits and bobs um, that are um, not necessarily acidic but for example i'm having red peppers and carrots um which really um i shouldn't really have because of the candida they are they are sort of quite um sweet for for the state that i'm in at the moment uh, i've also had um sober noodles and um you know i'm, I'm kind of doing it 80 20 uh, and i'm not doing all the supplements at once i'm not doing all the salts at once and stuff like that so i'm kind of going um slowly from zero to a hundred rather than going overnight from zero to a hundred i'm kind of being I'm being gentle and being kind to myself um, and um, my symptoms it's only been day 11 of, of a transition but already I feel tons better than I did a couple of weeks ago now bear in mind that I've had ME um, even though I was only actually diagnosed when uh, round about the time that Taylor was born so about sort of eight months ago really um, I, I know I've had this for about five years since my twins were born and um, my symptoms um, had got to the stage, they, they were really bad and especially the, the past couple of months, uh, the last couple of months, um, it was it was pretty, it wasn't nice, you know, I, I, I would spend my days on the sofa and wasn't even able to sit up, I had to actually have a lot of cushions um, propping me up because I just, I just couldn't lift my head up, um, so um, and my muscle pain was horrible, absolutely just aching all over, all day long and all night long. Uh, going up and down the stairs was an absolute agony. Um, very, very easily stressed out. I mean, when I say this to people, they don't quite realise what I mean. But seriously, my adrenal glands are so shot, you know, that... Um, 
I get so stressed out so easily and a lot of people say well you know stress is a decision you can let go of this and you can let go of that and to a certain extent that's true but my adrenal glands um, and my kind of fight or flight response and all that sort of thing um, is so messed up because of the uh, well of, of the of the acidity really in the candida and the yeast that I get really easily stressed out all that it needs to happen is for two people to talk to me at once at the same time like say if they're talking over each other or something like that or if I'm thinking of one thing and my husband is talking to me about something else or if um, uh, you know you get the idea or if I have to really rush or you know and just a little bit of stress for me turns into these massive palpitations and and I become short of breath and I get really panicky and that was never me I never used to be like that I used to be completely the opposite this sort of outgoing loud confident person that could um, multitask a billion things run a business and um, or two businesses whilst you know juggling something else and you know which is probably what made me ill anyway but um, uh, the stress situation is still there I still get stressed out very very easily which is one of the reasons and I have to apologize for that here why I haven't done a video every single day because it was kind of getting a little bit stressful for me to say oh I've really got to do a video tonight what am I going to talk about what am I going to so I decided that instead of doing a video every single day I'll just do a video maybe every couple of days so you can sort of still keep um, following what's going on with me uh, but I uh, I don't have to do one every night so if I'm feeling tired one night or if I can't fit it in then I don't sort of feel guilty so I hope that's okay with you it might be that I do do some um, you know every night for three or four nights and then I have a break and just just depending how I'm feeling um, another one of my symptoms um, is that I wake up tired and uh, I think they call it un um, unrefreshing sleep or something like that basically it doesn't matter how much you sleep it doesn't recharge your batteries so you know if you're feeling tired when you go to bed you wake up tired and that's just chronic fatigue syndrome all over again and um, this is a symptom that I'm very familiar with every single morning when I wake up it doesn't matter if I've had seven eight nine ten eleven twelve hours worth of sleep I always I always wake up feeling exhausted um, heavy like my legs are lead and um, and just kind of a bit like I'm not ready to face the day and uh, so these are the main um, symptoms that I've had for the past five years with my ME. This week um, I have to say um, in terms of energy levels I mean it's today um, I have felt like a 7 out of 10 um, which is a massive massive improvement from uh, last week when I was like at a 1 or a 2 uh, maybe not last week but a couple of weeks ago um, in terms of muscle pain I've maybe got 2 out of 10 uh, whilst last week it would have been 10 out of 10 it was horrible um, in terms of stress is still there uh, that hasn't really improved I still need to do things slowly and, and one at a time and things like that um, but in terms of waking up tired and achy I don't really I mean I don't wake up feeling like I want to jump out of bed but I don't wake up with that same feeling of feeling really heavy um, and uh, just exhausted when I open my eyes I don't feel the opposite of exhausted like full of energy and vitality ready to face the day etc but I think it's coming and I think there's a there's a lot of um, mindset to do with that as well so I've started to do my I am healthy uh, kind of um, uh, incantations and uh, uh, and just and just I mean a more positive state of mind anyway and the better I feel the better state of mind I'm in so it kind of becomes a bit of a um, it gives me the momentum that I need so uh, I do feel much much better and um, you know this this lifestyle really works for me and um, 
it's been really really great having your support I've had so many people write so many lovely comments uh, looking out for me and literally uh, you know I feel that you're all watching and and um, and it's really really nice so um, I know also that there are some people doing this diet with me so good luck and then and, and keep sharing your story and I hope that it goes really well for you as well I'll let you know how I feel in the next few days but uh, for now I have to run because YouTube won't let me post this if it's over 10 minutes so uh, lots of love and see you tomorrow bye